So, let's go back to surviving the frigid temperatures here in Frostpunk. I like how there's like... You can just catch the, the edge of that, um, the beacon, I guess. And you can actually see it out here on the map as well. Uh, I thought maybe, maybe you're not. I thought maybe you could in like the, um, like the preview build from ages ago. So we got 30 London years. I mean, they're not accruing that quickly, so that's not too shabby. Uh, very few unemployed people. And we need some people to like work on the buildings and things. All right, let's unpause. Mm -mm. I ordered myself some iron brew. Sadly, not my taste. I mean, iron brew, I think, is, is yeah, either it's like you love it, love it, love it, love it, or it's not for you. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. It is a very distinctive taste. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. It's weird how, like, things are actually working surprisingly well. So I'm going to bring up the speed a bit. Food rations seem to mostly be going up. I mean, we're still on soup. Suppose we could turn that off. Although, our discontentment is basically not. So, I think we're actually okay. Okay, so we got our drafting machines. So now we can get more things. We can get improved heaters so that they're hotter. I think they use twice as much coal, though. Yeah, it's two per hour instead of one per hour for more heat. Uh, steam hubs can get their range increased, but they will use twice as much coal when that option is turned on. Um, we can get more power and stuff, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the outpost depots here. The lighter scout sleds are also nice, so they move around faster. But outpost depots are going to be important for getting a lot more material in here. So we're going to start researching that and make that quite a priority. I've got a lot of material. Coal pile depleted. All right, that's fine. We're just trying to clear some of that up. Um, in terms of resource grabbing... I still could build another uh, sawmill over here, and I think that's pro- I mean, we've got lots of wood now, but we know we go through it quickly, right? Although, as I say, should I wait until we've got the steam sawmill? Speaking of which, where the hell are my sawmills? Oh, it's over here. I'm assuming we can probably upgrade one to the other, so it's okay. Maybe we don't bother. I'm not sure. Your filthy London traders still have an uptrending tendency, I know. Although, barely! Barely! Hope keeps going up, which is kind of amazing. Housing's still alright. We're going to get some more people. We can get them all next to this watchtower, though. We're going to keep them tightly monitored. This looks like a good place for a sawmill. Also, some of our hunters go out this way, so if we build a sawmill here, we'll end up building a road here as well. Um, I think, actually, what I'm going to do is build the road out here first. There you go. Something like that. And then, presumably, they I'm sure they're taking the trees away, so at some point, we'll have to dismantle it you know, because it's not near there anymore. I don't know. There's still tons of this frozen log. It might not be uh, something that's got a limit. No, nah, 12.06. So yeah, eventually it'll run out, but it's going to take a while. Increasing hope. That seems hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> Department of Redundancy Department. So you're good. You're good. Things are being built. No pop-ups. No one's panicking about anything. It's about to get colder again. Oh, what is this? Writing on the wall. Captain, someone has defaced walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear that we'll share Winter Home's fate, and scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. Send watchmen to remove it. Hope will fall slightly, or hope will fall a lot. So, we'll take the small dip. And uh, we'll send some engineers out here, and we'll make sure you stay a little bit warmer. Although it really is just a little bit. And it is going to get a lot colder soon, isn't it? I think we might want um, a little heating thing over here. I think we need it. A little steam hub? There we go. Let 
and probably one here as well. Do we already have one over there? Because you can't... Overlapping the steam areas doesn't make any difference. I can't tell if you're being affected by this one or not. You must be. I guess I can check. Yeah, heat zone. And your own heater. So I could do something like this. So that if we get more buildings over here later, it'll cover that. Yeah, that seems alright. Because yeah, even with the heater, these things are pretty bad. Although, um, it's at night right now. So it's, it's plus one heater? Yeah, I don't know. Do do do. Might need a steam pump near the hothouses. That's what we're working on. Londoners going up a bit more. How are we going to survive? What should we do? Just shut up. It's fine. Okay, temperature falling. That's, that's the other reason I was building these, because I knew it was about to get cold again. Hope I don't freeze to death on duty. <laughs> he said duty. <laughs> Alright, more fast. Built. Built. We can get the larger ADOE on these things as well. It's 50% more... I think it's 50% more radius, which is quite a lot more area. Oh, frostbite. Became gravely ill. Coal pile de depleted. Survivors reach the city. Alright, so we need more housing again. Which I think here's the place to do that. Connect up that way, that'll be fine. Outpost Depot research. Nice. Um, I think we'll also research the factory so we can start working on prosthetics. So, what we can do with the Outpost Depot is there's going to be one or two areas that we can build these on the outside. So, right here, for example. Thump. I think it got rid of some trees, but that's okay. We've got limited locations for these, and we want to make use of them. Uh, we'll extend the road out to here. Found it weird that it went to the 6 at some point. Probably wasn't drawing straight. So, once we've got that done, we can create an outpost group. In fact, I suspect we're going to need more than one. Oh, we don't have enough steel to build a second one right now. Okay, so we'll just hold tight. Oh, laws! People crowd for benevolent rules. Uh, in particular, I think people are going to crowd for some moonshine! We can give people a little bit of liquor now and then to soothe their aching bodies and souls. After an interesting... So every meal slightly lowers discontent... Eating soup causes less discontent. <laughs> ah, excellent. Woo! A glass a day keeps the worries away. Speaking of, mm -mm, let's have a little nip. So to stay warm, I'm going to have some stag's breath liqueur over here. Fine whiskey and fermented honeycomb liqueur from Scotland. That I brought back with me. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Cold homes! I will do my best in just a moment here. Excellent. Whiskey counts as soup, right? There you go. It's like, the soup is like a bowl of whiskey with like a little potato floating in it. <laughs> uh, let's heat all homes! Although, the exclamation mark I think is how much uh, hope we'll get. Maybe I should just promise some of them. It's also more time. So this is all five homes within 24 hours. This is two homes within two days. Here, let's do heat some homes. So, which homes are we talking about here? This bunkhouse over here is chilly. And, oh, these are bunkhouses that are chilly over here. Wisdom of the crowds. Oh yeah, sometimes people are crazy. You don't always have to say yes. I know. You got the range. So overloading doesn't make any difference here because you're not going to reach this house. So we just need we just need another little thingy ma bob. But I don't think I want to build it here. What I think I want to do is I want to put another bunkhouse in here just to figure out some spacing. Um it and there we go. So see within range of that thing. 
So I'm just going to place it. So if it's there, it's within range of the watchtower. That tells me then where I can place the street. Like so. To some distance. And then the steam hub. Which... I guess we'll have to do. That will heat three of these houses. And I just need to heat two of them. Hopefully they'll bring it to livable. Which I think it will. It won't bring it to comfortable, but yeah. It's a lot of kids to put to wear. Yeah. Duel is taking place! Slancha. Mmm. That is so good. It does not taste like alcohol. It's very dangerous. It just tastes like, like mead. It just tastes like drinking honey. Mm, mm, mm. We only have one sick person. Period. Okay, two now. We're clearly doing a good job of keeping people pretty warm, actually. How long until the whiny people leave? Uh, oh. Ten days. Another act of vandalism. The Londoners have defaced more walls, urging everyone to join them in abandoned city. Some graffiti even mocks your leadership. What? Branding you an unfit leader and capable of doing what it takes to save her people. Uh, send Watchmen to remove it. Did I like, miss a connection here, or is it still waiting to be built? No, no, it's got the green line. Someone, come on. I guess people are sleeping right now. Finish the path. Please? I mean, there's a green area here. It's... Oh, watch members beaten. Captain, members of the neighborhood watch who were removing the Londoners' slogans have been assaulted. We should do something to protect our people. We need guards to secure the streets. You'll have three days to open a guard station. We have to research a guard station first, though. Do I have the tech? Well, I can pass another law soon. Or we need guards to strike back. That will lower discontent, but I don't have discontent. I just need more hope. Yeah, I don't have guard stations, but we'll so we'll have to wait. We got three days, so we have a day, and we can pass a law. That'll be okay. Seriously, though. Build this goddamn road. Thank you. Okay, now we got to keep the houses warm. We have 41 Londoners going up a little faster. Watchman beaten. Londoners vandalism. Oh, and you were waiting here. Sorry. Coal mine. Explore the coal mine. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or fulfilled the loading bay. Or filled the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw material if we took the machinery apart. However, then we wouldn't be able to make an outpost anymore. We could, If we leave it be, we can make an outpost out of this mine and get regular amounts of coal to come in, which seems to me pretty important. So I'm just going to take the stored coal for now. Thing is, we can build a few different outposts. In particular, I'm going to want to build one at the fishing village. So, you are now going to go to this shrouded cave. Factory research. Excellent. Okay, so first, more research. Uh, we might want to get the faster scout movement. Infirmary, good. Steam heated infirmary, 10 beds. The sick are treated faster than this medical post. Gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. It might be an upgrade. It does take a, a core. Um, we can just also just research some of the insulation, like here and here, which is probably a pretty good idea. Um, the steam sawmill, the steam uh, steel works. Again, it uses up a... Um, does it not use a core? I thought it used a core. Gathering post installation. Steam hub range? Maybe. Probably, huh? I mean, we don't necessarily need to use it. Because it does use more coal. 
On the other hand, it covers a much larger area, so it's probably when... Oh, we've reached a fishing village. Explore. The fishing village used to supply Tesla City with food. Searching it, we found a letter. Mike, don't return to the city. Tesla is a madman! He cast out all the cripples, all the sick. Sounds like something I might have done. Jerry's parents and Old Beth are among them. There will be blood, that's for sure, and soon. The village was left in order. We could send a team here to start fishing. So leave the village intact, or we could dismantle the huts. I will leave the village intact so that we can actually do a fishing outpost over here, which I'm very excited for. Um, we're going to go to the Walled Colony because of reasons. Now, I haven't actually done the outpost yet, so we're going to do that soon. So I can hit this button to form an outpost. We need wood, steel, and ten workers. So we're going to do that, and then we can have to send them somewhere. So I'm going to have them do an outpost at this coal mine. It seems like coal is something we're going to regular need. So we're going to set up an outpost over here. It's going to deliver 800 coal per day. That seems like a good thing to me. And I might do the other one at the fishing village. And then for wood and steel, sort of just, you know, do them internally here. Yeah, I know Tesla City. I, I, I know. There's a reason I didn't go directly there. <laughs> what are you complaining about? Sawmill. Oh, you have nothing within range. It's probably been the case for a while. So we will salvage you. Yeah, because I built one here because we'd push things out. Okay. We've got lots of wood right now. Steel is something we can use more of. So let's get another steel works. Um, so we can put it next to this one. Now this, one of these will need to be worked with people unless we can build another automaton. We did research the, uh, the factory tech though. So maybe, although we do have some workers. What am I trying to do? Oh yeah, the roads. All right, we need to plop down a factory. Oh, we can fit it in here. Good. Let's do that. <clears throat> Just put that on the outpost location? No, I didn't. I put it on the steel mine location. They, they, the symbols are wonky. Don't forget the guard tower. Thank you. We have to wait until the we can pass a law. Oh, yeah, that's an interesting idea. Move the automaton over here so the workers use the road. I mean, so it's a little closer. That seems pretty legit. Try to keep you a little heated so you don't get quite as sick. All right, go. Go for law. Oh, we need... Factory needs engineers. And needs to be told what to build. I will get you to build five set of prosthetics over here. Oh, sorry, these are automatons. Build an automaton. What do you need? 100 steel, 100 wood, 50 coal, 1 steam core. Build me one. I'm okay with that. And yeah, we have to research the prosthetics tech. Need new fighting ar arena. Uh, yeah, you're right for discontent. Uh, what's waiting here? Ah! Build an outpost. Thank you. Maximum number of outposts reach. It's not sh exactly true. We just need um, more material, more steel to be able to build the next one. Uh, so you're coming in there... La la la. La 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 la. Boom. Nope, wait an hour. Less than an hour. Go! There it is. Guard station. So we're gonna sign that. Order. Guard station. Oh, is that an upgrade over the watchtower? Because I was going to say, it does the same as the Watchtower, and also reduces discontent. So it sort of um, duplicates what the Fighting Ring does. Boom. Okay. Hope dropped. Or, oh, we probably had some sort of positive thing. Oh, it's because we don't have the uh, the things providing hope right now. Watchtower's upgraded to Guard Towers. Nice, okay. Yeah, it's because the Watchtowers went away, so right now there's no hope. There we go. Hope rises again. Hope rises. Steep hub range researched. I'm I'm at the faster uh, the faster scouts. I think that's actually a really good thing to just 
get going real quick here. So yeah, it's covering all this area, and it lowers lowers discontent, restores hope. Discontent is actually like zero right now, which is amazing. Hope's still pretty poopy, but we'll get there. Uh, okay, uh, we've got enough steel, because I really want to build the second outpost depot, which is... Oh, there it is. I think we've only got access to the two. Because I think that's the only... It's just so slow to rotate. Oh, there we go. Now we're nice and zoomed out. Yeah, we built the one here. And then we'll build another one over here. Boom. Boom. There you go. Get that built. And yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be for food. I mean, we've got plenty of rations right now. But it'll stop us from building, like, a ton of hothouse and things. Oh, that was quick with the, uh, the scout research. We've got a lot of wood now. I think I'm going to research the steam steelworks, and we'll upgrade the steelworks. Some of the coal is going down. We are going to get coal deliveries, like, of 800 every day now. Exile Colony! We're going to explore this. Some of egg some of exiles are still alive. Some of exiles, you guys, are still alive. Just barely. We could try to bring them to our city, although they might die on the way. One of the dying exiles held a diary to his chest. We read the last entry. Exiles from Tesla City, with food and fuel running out, we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They are our last hope. We're afraid this refers to the poor Yankees we buried. We can escort them to the city. We can leave them to their fate. Or we can rob them of their supplies. Heard of Path of Exile? Then you'll love some of the exiles. Escort, escort. We'll escort them to the city. Plus, we have resources with us. We pulled the dying exiles from their snow houses and prepared them for the journey to our city. Some of them stirred from their death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth. Not yet. And yeah, it'll let us deliver. We've got a bunch of coal with us. Or no, it's this one. It's got the steam cores. Yeah. Got to make sure we don't lose the steam cores. Because visiting Tesla City will be interesting. We've got a ton of wood right now. Tons of food rations. I mean, we can increase our storage... Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have more people, so the food rations will keep going down faster. Please, we're di dictators, not robbers. <laughs> ah, I love it. Hope. Promise fulfilled. People are living. Duels are happening. Waiting. Children's hideout. Caves a hideout for some children who were evacuated from Winterhome. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. Should we, though? We talked to the children in hideout. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them out from Winterhome on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time before the city got really ugly. We can escort them to the city. 35 children we could send them to the city, which is risky, or leave them to their fate. Eat them. <laughs> Meets back on the menu. Little Lamplight, yeah! From, uh, Fallout New Vegas? Alright, we'll escort them to the city. At some point, we'll probably have to pass the children work everywhere laws. There you go, and we'll bring a bunch of coal with us. We need some idle workers so that we can create a new outpost. We've got just, uh, that's engineers. Tell you what, actually, I'm gonna remove the workers from here. We'll put engineers there. Cause that'll give us enough people to make a new outpost team. And yeah, I wanna send it to the fishing village. I know we're okay on food now, but I don't think that'll continue to be the case. Boom. 
So we don't have any homelessness yet, but soon we probably will. Londoners keep going up. But I mean, things are running so well anyway. So well, I'd say it's swell. So yeah, we'll probably build some houses over here. Flying hunters give tons of raw food. Send it to Tesla City? Well, we might change our mind about the outpost then. I mean, we're still sending there, but I might not have to actually hit the button to say make outpost. There's an outpost that gives steam cores. Okay, is that what Tesla City is? Yeah, that sounds pretty insanely good. Promise fulfilled. Promise warmth. We did it. Hope rises. Excellent. I know it's sort of like a wonky space there, but... It's going to be good placement for things. There we go. <laughs> Look at temperature. I know minus 40, and it's about to get significantly colder. It's going to drop to minus 60 soon. <laughs> ah! Now we're getting to, like, Canada weather. <laughs> that is really freaking cold. Waiting. Yeah, so... We're going to keep them waiting here. I don't know if you can cancel an outpost once you've got it. I suppose I could check, right? Over here. Oh, dismantle. Oh, yeah! Okay, so I could have these guys build the outpost for now, send some raw food, and then do something else. Minus 60. Quill decides it's now jacket weather. <laughs> Uh, steam steel works researched. Good, because steam or steel was coming in a little slow. Scouts number three have returned. Excellent. Hold on a second. Let me get back to you. Steel works over here. Oh, I assume I have to do the thing where God, the rotation is so slow. Steel steam works. Upgrade. All right. Scoots. I need you to check out Tesla City. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you there. Laws. Get some hope. Soon. The tendency is neutral on the Londoners. Well. And we got some homeless people, but we have houses being built, right? Yes, no? Oh, I need research. I'm kind of thinking a bunch of, like, insulation, since it's going to get so goddamn cold. And yeah, we can upgrade the, the hunting things, apparently, with flying hunters. There's hunting tactics as well, which is just, need fewer workers, which is nice. Stop stone soup for hope. The stone soup is discontent, and I have zero discontent. Doesn't affect hope at all. Oh, needs a steam cores. Still, it might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think we'll just get a bunch of passive insulation for things. So, I did finish all those houses then, it looks like. So... Okay, you're in range of that, which is good. Oh, and then we're out of steel. And it's not coming in right now because we uh, are rebuilding things. And it's nighttime. I mean, the bot will work all the time. Oh, can we charge from this? Uh, oh, I didn't realize that. So we could put one of these, um, these heating areas, steam hubs, closer to where the bot works. We plan on sort of maybe expanding in this general direction. Ah, police in the streets. Sir, a group of drunk men were disturbing the peace, pushing each other, screaming obscenities and harassing women in the streets. Our guards intervened and restrained the drunks before anyone was hurt. Let them sober up. Hope will rise slightly. Punish them. People may get hurt. Uh, that would lower discontent, but I don't need to lower discontent. I have no discontentment. We will let them sober up. Hope. Law time. Thank you. Take a look over here on purpose again. Patrol. Sure, safety and order is most important long term. Signing the law. So, new ability, patrol, guard station. Each use will reduce discontent, will raise hope. So I keep having to hit the button. Oh, it takes food rations. We could build a prison. New ability, roundup, used to catch wrongdoers. Prisoners will abandon their misguided views. 
propaganda center? Oh my god, this is looking like totally authoritarian now. Um, propaganda center. Propaganda center raises hope. Shows detailed info on sources of discontentment. New d ability. Propaganda center can distribute bulletins raising hope. I want this. I want this. How do you get faith in order? Um, just by advancing the like the exploration, like the main quest. A foreman is a button I think that you can hit on a building at yeah, ten food rations, and it'll boost the production of a building for a while. Boom. There can only be one such building. Base heating level three. Wow. So, I mean, I think I'm just going to build it out here. And at some point this might get heated, but at some point this will probably need to be heated. Our Supreme Overlord. Propaganda is massively OP good. It's double plus good, is what it is. <laughs> build and man propaganda center. Yeah, we're working on it. Okay, someone's about to... Oh, I think you're getting home. Still a day away from, I think, reaching Tesla City. Alright, you have returned home safely. Excellent. With people, with the children, I think. Frozen Grove. Let's go and take a look. Do I have to select you? There it is. Boom. What is this? Food theft! Someone stole 109 food rations from the stockpile. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for the journey. It seems this ridiculous idea of leaving for London is gaining traction. Send them guards to, chat to catch them. Bastards. Oh, we have a bunch of homelessness. Okay. Pause a second. Guards were successful. Excellent. So, we have heating over here. And houses. We have a guard tower. Yeah, this is the place to expand our housing. Man, I need more metal. No, I know. They're waiting for an order. It's because we're going to try to do something with Tesla City, apparently. People regain hope. For the first time, Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon our city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock at the news of Winter Home and starting to hope for the future. Glad to hear that. Nice. Wait till they hear our propaganda. And they're really going to be happy. I suppose I could just build tents and then upgrade them after. I like how the the announcements have changed as well. Now it's order, people. Let's march to work. Like, full propaganda machine. Well, it's not the propaganda. It's like the order is a go. Okay. That should be plenty of housing. Extra shift the steel mill? Maybe. Check second bot. Did I build another bot? Oh yeah, I put an order in it for it, hadn't I? Okay, first of all, Propaganda Center needs to be worked by engineers. Propaganda Center now keeps track of people's attitudes and influence them. Hope rises. Cutscene. Oh, look at the posters! The, the banners! This sign will strike fear in the hearts of villains. May the traitors cower in fear. This sign will remind everyone we're a city of order. Order dawns in our city. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Awesome. Intel. The most burning issues which can push our people to protest in the near future. Poor full food quality. Bad food. You know what? You're right. Standard meals. Done. We've got tons of food rations. Yep, we'll take it down a notch. I'm alright with it. Houses are still being built. As soon as they're done, we won't have any more housing problems. Tons of wood. Love the bot walking by the banners. Yeah, we need to arm them with guns. Right, so... That's our workshop. Where's our factory? Does anyone remember where we parked our factory? I guess it's this big thing. Which is short on steel. Right, we need to hit 100 steel so it can finally build the bot. 
Okay, well, I mean, these are now the steam steelworks. Look at them go. Healthcare installation research. All healthcare facilities are now warmer. I think we're going to keep doing some of this. Hothouse insulation. Especially before we hit the minus goddamn 60. Oh, that's awful. Look at the hope! It's so good! <gasps> Tennessee's dropping! The day is over. Return to your homes. Put the bot in the factory. I don't think I can. No, no. Bots, I think, just replace normal workers. Not engineers. Plus, I mean, do we really want, like, let robots make themselves? You know how that stuff ends up. <gasps> Another theft! The Londoners are stealing again. They've taken 114 food rations from the stockpiles. People are angry that Londoners are putting their crazy idea before the needs of the city. Send guards to catch them. Guards failed. Oh, Boo! Caught in the act. Our guards did a good job. They got the goods back. Okay. Oh, that's probably a reaction to the first time. But more importantly, they caught one of the thieves. Now we can put an end to the thievery. What should we do with this thief? Let him go, but we'll prepare a place for him soon. You'll have three days to build a prison. Or we could banish him from the city forever. All right. We got three days to build a prison. It's okay. We'll pass a law. 18 hours now. People abandon the Londoners. Yeah, I, honestly, I would have preferred, like, um, ban banishing him. It doesn't seem like this is the sort of society where we can afford to keep people prisoner. But we're also in a, th a society of order. And so, you know what? We'll imprison people and threaten them with prison. We're close to capping out on coal and wood. Which is kind of amazing. Come on, investigate Tesla City. So curious as to what kind of horrible things will happen there. Why banish people who want to leave? Well, we're banishing them probably without much in the way of food. Like, we're not letting them leave en masse and, like, take all our resources with them. That's the inherent difference, I would say. Oh, propaganda bulletin. Oh! Ten wood. News bulletin will be delivered to every household. We'll ensure people we're protecting our city. So this, hit this, and it'll increase hope. Wow! People must be told repeatedly that we survive every day thanks to order in capitals. Propaganda flyers. Oh shit, yeah, that huge. Scouts have reached Tesla City. The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning deflecting the incoming snow, but no one comes out to greet us. Able minds and bodies will prevail over the cold, reads the slogan over the entrance to Tesla City. A central tall tower shines with the blue glow of electric discharges would form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets, and stench and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. So we could risk entering the city, what could possibly go wrong, or we could stay away from the city. Just search the outskirts instead. Leave that one up to you guys. <laughs> My dudes, the city is lit. Go in. Risk it. Scouts are replaceable. For science. All right. Risk entering the city. We entered the city. As soon as our scouts entered the city, we lost contact with them. There's no telling what happened, but we presume they're all dead. But apparently we can still build an outpost here, so... Awesome. Here, we'll get some new scouts. And yeah, the outpost people here... You're actually going to go to Tesla City. Because apparently we can mine frickin' uh, steam cores there, which is kind of insane. So, our, our scouts! We're going to send you to the Dread... Dreadnought Landing. Dreadnought Landing over here. <laughs> well, we tried! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, some of our people died. No one seems to be bothered by it, though. We've got some sick still. I still want to research the uh, the fancier um, infirmaries. Since now we're going to get a regular delivery of steam cores, apparently. Hothouse insulation research. Nice. New automaton has been built. So what I'm going to do here is this steel works. I'm going to make this an automaton steel works. Now they're both being worked by automatons. Freeze up some workers. We actually have tons of workers. We'll have to see what we do. We're going to have to screw up some new research here. Queue up some new research, not screw up. We could research the next level of tech. Although, no, I think I'm going to get the infirmary now. I want to, I want to go and, and process these sick people a little faster than we've got going on now. Um, I mean, we've got a good amount of food, clearly. I don't know what to do with these workers. You don't have anything going on right now. Build more automatons? Oh, yes, the prison laws and the prosthetics. Yeah, we'll need some laws soon. Yeah, the prosthetics is what I actually want these guys to build, but, you know... Here, we'll queue up a couple more automatons. The steel should be coming in fairly quickly now. Oh, check the name of the new automaton! The Mark III Sammy! Alright. I don't think we want any more people here. We've got, like, too many people. Next level of tech gives access to bot upgrades. Nice. Cold snap soon, yep. Yeah. Uh, laws, and boom. New law available. So I promised people prisons, so we will get prisons. Which, can I not click and drag? Oh, right click. What is... What is that? Forceful persuasion, pledge of loyalty. People make mistakes, but we can give them a chance to redeem themselves. They agree to cooperate. People will be persuaded to sign a pledge of loyalty, which will turn them into secret informers. Provide permanent hope bonus. Discontent will rise. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great! Prison. So we're going to start with this. <clears throat> Prison. Base heating level is 3. Wow. Well, I guess it's built fairly strong. Has 30 inmates who will change their attitude within a few days. I'm going to build it out here. Will block an important facility? Will it, though? Here, we'll build it next to the propaganda center. Across the street from the... No, right next to it. Done. I like it. Big Brother is watching. Yeah, we'll have to get all the secret police and everything. That's great stuff. Ooh, what is this? Another theft! Send guards to catch them. It's what we need the prison for. Someone died. Oh, what? Hold on. A bunch of things are happening. First, let me deal with the scouts. Frozen Grove. <sighs> Poking around the trees marked with crosses, we found shallow graves under each one of them. Dead bodies lack most of the bigger muscles, and some bones bear signs of cutting tools. The corpses have been obviously strips of edible parts. Now we know what kept the survivors by the freshwater springs from starving. We'll leave graves intact, but we can cut trees for wood. So we get a bunch of wood. All right. And then these scouts... Are we out of things to scout? I mean, someone's already going over to the landing here, right? Okay, tell you what, I'm just going to send you to the city then, for now. I'm sure we'll find some more things soon. You are waiting. Build the outpost by Tesla City. One steam core every day. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, now what is this? Murdered on duty. One of our guardsmen was beaten to death while chasing the Londoners. We caught one of the thieves, but he's not the murderer. What should we do with him? Lock him up? Banish him? Let him go, he isn't the murderer. Discontent will rise. No. Lock him up! First casualty. This is the first death we've had this entire game. Well, except for the murdered guard in a sense. First duel to the death. Apparently the killer had held a long time grudge against another man challenged him to a deal. First death. One of our people just died. This is probably the one that was killed by the guard. Uh, we need a way to d deal with the body. Yeah, well, um, I mean, we'll open the book of laws, but we're not doing anything right now. Prisoners are running free. I know. Discontent. Oh my god. No space for prisoners. I know! Poet suicide? Sir, one of our people committed suicide. In his spare time, he wrote poems about lost suffering and death to hope. Our propaganda center waged a campaign against him to protect our people from his influence. Now people won't blame us for his suicide, unless we make it look like he drank himself to death. Do it and burn his poems. Stay away from it. 
Do it and burn his poems. <laughs> Scouts don't count. Yeah, their deaths were hush hush. Okay. Prison. Fill it with workers. Prison is open. You proved the promise of increased safety and order wasn't just hollow words. And we're going to go and we're going to round up. Prison guards will round up Gwangurus and put them in prison. They'll go after Londoners, dissidents, and any other troublemakers. Prisoners will re be returned to society after three days. Hard floor to sleep on and half rations will help them in the process of rethinking their, their stuff. Yeah. I like how we're arresting the Londoners, though. It's very, very great. Very great. We'll, uh, we'll keep the prison warmer for the guards. <laughs> Maybe not for the prisoners. So now we need freaking, like, cemeteries or some sort of policy like that. I like how smoky it's getting over here. People abandon the Londoners. Yeah, no kidding. But look how much hope we've got! Helps that, you know, the propaganda. Hmm, for some reason, some of these are emptying up. These are probably the people we're arresting. There you go, put the children to work over here. Any other buildings short on workers? Oh, yeah, over here. And there. And here. What's the deal here? Cookhouse. Too cold? That's even with the heater on? It's too cold? It is minus 60. All right, let's overdrive. We're clearly going to have to research um, higher level steam power here. <laughs> yeah, food was dropping because that, that thing wasn't working. Infirmer research. Excellent. Add new research. Um, no, stop. We need, uh, we need more powerful heating. So, infirmary, I'm assuming is something we can upgrade. No? Oh no, it's a completely different size. It's not an upgrade over the other centers. Huh. Ten beds, treated faster. So, I guess I could dismantle the medical posts? I mean, right now we don't have any sick people, so maybe I can, I can wait. Crushing hopelessness and the constant threat of approaching death and lawlessness. I feel like this game was made for Quill. Not only that, but it adds the ability to be like a, a dictator. I like it. Although we'll have to do a faith run at some point too. New automaton has been built. I don't know what we're going to do with him. Kind of just wanted him. I'm sure we'll put him to use at some point. Here, he can work in the coal thumper. Done. Done. Mild frostbite. Okay, and yeah, we do need a little bit more medical thing. So we'll build the infirmary. Boom. Make the automaton work the kitchen. Can you win this game? I don't know. It's going to be too cold over here. I mean, we'll turn the heaters on. And yeah, clearly we're reaching the point where we do need the, the extra heaters. You don't have any jobs queued up, but that's okay, because we built the other automaton. Generator power researched. Excellent. Um, efficiency. Overdrive couplings. Allows to raise the temperature of all heat zones by two when the generator is put into overdrive. Okay. Burns less coal. More upgrade. Generator safety bypasses. Range upgrade. That's the next level. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up to mechanical um, calculators and just look up the bigger range and maybe the baseline power. Okay, next steam level is two. Yeah, we're pretty cold. I think, like, what building is this? Infirmary. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to research the like better heaters soon too crazy. Can we turn off overdrive? Uh, maybe. Oh, were these auto-upgraded to the bigger range? It's not a... 
No, maybe we never researched the um, Steam Hub range upgrade. No, no, we did. Oh. Oh. Another act of vandalism. Loyal Citizens has reported he saw a group of young people vandalizing the propaganda center. They wrote, wake up, people. This guy loses points for not saying wake up, sheeple. In big letters on the outer wall, what should we do? Punish the guilty. Discontent will fall. People may get hurt. Remove the writing. Hope will rise. Oh, we'll just remove the writing. That's fine. Infirmary. Go. Rest time. Extra rations. Oh, yeah, to speed up the healing. Well, we're, we're okay right now. Burn the heretics. The king is a fink. Romans, go home. That's the one we want. Maximum number of outposts. Literally cannot build more, as far as I know. Bunk houses. 31 Londoners and they're going down. Well, it doesn't help their cause that we've arrested a bunch of them. I like, see one? Family alone in this world. This concern is nothing. Check the propaganda center intel. Bodies in the street. Oh, right! Yeah, we got bodies in the street. People are troubled by the following issues. Corpse disposal, cold at home, bad food. I can see why bodies in the street might upset some people. We'll work on it. Duel is taking place. Someone was injured. Okay, but didn't die. So there's not another body. Waiting. Return safely to the city with a bunch of wood. Good for them. Oh, and you're at our city. Yes, but you are at the Dreadnought Landing. Huge ship has been dismantled here. Only its massive keel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. We found a piece of a whole plate bolted to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription. In the year 1888, the American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from the global glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. We discovered a research station and an ice corridor, and some resources. Okay, well, you are going to go there to the ice corridor, and you are going to go here to the research station. Cool. I've, I think I have two spare automatons just sitting around. And yeah, we're basically capped on some stuff. Oh, this sawmill is out of things. Although we could still move it, or we could start doing the drill. This coal thumper is... Oh, just full. We have automatons working here. Like, the thing is, we have, like, unemployment. We don't actually need the automatons. Oh, this sawmill. Dismantle. Because it's out of range. Hmm. Why is everyone looking for shelter from glaciation in Norway? End of thievery. We've put an end to the stealing. The filthy thief is finally in prison. Food rations and wood were retrieved from him with the information we got from him. Well done! Excellent. Got that. We can't propagandize or anything like that. Everyone's really pleased. There's some illnesses. Um, infirmary here. Let's go for some temporary double rations. Same thing here. Do some slightly quicker healing. We gotta free some people up. It's so goddamn cold. It's so goddamn cold. Book of Laws on cooldown. Mechanical calculators. Oh, right, for the next tier stuff. First Londoners convinced to stay. Several people who wanted to flee London have decided to trust you and stay. They say your recent decisions to... Convince them there's hope for us here yet. Well, also, I'm arresting all your friends, so, you know. Proud citizen of the city. Three cheers for our captain! I'm super good at this, you guys! Scouts have reached the ice corridor. We're following the wide corridor of the crushed ice that the American dreadnought, the USS Hephaestus, left in its wake. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American Dreadnought Hephaestus. Soon, we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish some sheets. We can see huge silhouettes in the distance, which might be its sister ship Prometheus. We found the icebound Dreadnought. Nothing here. All right, well, let's keep going. Boom. No, select you. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> Coal stocks are a little fuzzy. Full of wood. Mechanical calculators researched. Excellent. Technology tree. We're going to get generator range first.
Fundamental research. Certain engineers asking for a day off to study an automaton closely. The automatons can be improved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learn how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If, if I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust it to improve its performance, which should be different. Why should it be any different to this? Carry on. Engineer won't be able to work for 24 hours. That's fine. We've got tons of idle ones. Except no one was working at the workshop here for some reason. That was weird. Yes, we still have dead in the streets. Book of Laws. We're waiting for to be able to like make a, a graveyard. I like how the automatons are just like sitting around being like, I've got nothing to do. Alright, Icebound Dreadnought. The Dreadnought is stripped of its useful machinery, but its hulk contains enough steel to justify establishing an outpost here. On the bridge, we found a log with Tesla's last orders. Transfer all supplies and able-bodied survivors above Hephaestus. Take the cripples only if you have the prostheses to make them useful. Site discovered supply depot. That's a lot of resources. I'll check the supply depot. Okay. Getting more steam cores delivered. Nice. Uh, laws. Adaptation. Cemetery. Corpse disposal is just like, stuff them in the snow, right? Hope will fall. Discontent will rise. It fall. It'll lead to organ transplant. Interesting. But we'll build a proper cemetery. I mean, absolutely. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Cemetery. There can only be one. So I don't think it matters where it is. Here, we'll put it here, on the outskirts of our city. Block an important thing. Will it? Here. We'll build it there, then. Disposal. <laughs> Cemetery established. There we are. There we go. Less discontentment, because there's not going to be bodies buried in the streets anymore. You're going to explore this shack. Several heavy chests containing valuable supplies while searching through the shack. Also, we found an abandoned sawmill. Alright, well, let's keep going over here. Can't have this corpse if you eat it. Hashtag Soylent Green. People abandoned the London ears. I should check to see if I can um, run propaganda and whatnot. Oh, over here. So, can we round up? Yeah, let's, let's round up some more people. And facility has been shut down. Has it? Waiting for workers. Oh, there we go. Boom. Maximum hope! Almost! Almost literally maximum hope. Storage near capacity. Is it though? Oh yeah! Steel storage! It's annoying me that it's not red. Like, it's red as it's getting close, and then it turns white. Like, so that it's not noticeable. Does that seem sort of a little dumb to anyone else? And yeah, coal is running super low. Now, and it's only going to go down faster here with the extra range. So we'll start researching some efficiency. Or, I mean, one of the things we don't have is coal mines. Coal mining. Bort. I mean, we could just upgrade the coal thumper as well. But I think we just do the mines and we stick the automatons in there. Test subject needed. Ah! You need an automaton! Close to a breakthrough. Yeah, we've got an idle automaton. Take it. Have fun, buddy. And this is going to become steel storage. For the first time, we actually have excess steel. And is this a coal mining pit? Yeah, it is. I might want to pre-build the road out there, but I don't know. Food's dropping like crazy, too. What the heck? I think we need to go back on soup. Soup it up. And then uh, maybe research the flying hunters? Something like that. Skite is idle. You're right. Explore the abandoned sawmill. 
probably a base here years ago, but there's nothing left of it. This is a frozen sawmill. Take some resources. More sites. I mean, at some point I've got to send these guys back, but I guess not yet. Frozen pond. Er, and the research stopped because it's nighttime. There's only four Londoners. Londoners, Londoners. Uh, you reach the research station. Signs of fighting. Inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the observed changes, like the sun's dimming, volcanic ash, could not have caused such cooling. But what if the huge quake of 1887 in Patagonia was an asteroid strike? There's shouting, crashes, and then silence. So, is it that like we hit some sort of like perfect storm of everything went wrong simultaneously? Volcanoes, sun dimming, like, I don't know. Numerous tracks lead from the door towards the mountain. Cave hideout. Ooh, steam cores. Wrecked vehicle. Cave hideout. Seven hours. It's going to be pretty quick. I think we may have arrested, like, more people. There's, like, a bunch of these things are, like, missing people. And it's not illness, I don't think. Almost no Londoners. Yeah, it must have been arrests. Running out of coal! Come on, work shift, go! Go work shift! Done, okay. Coal mines research, good. Coal mine, there, there. Build the road. Excellent. We'll put some automatons in there when they're built. Research. Coal mining optimization. 10% more efficient. Yep. We'll do that, then we'll get the um, more efficient heating stuff. It's only minus 40. I mean, maybe we could turn off some things. So you're like bright red now that we've expanded these borders. Actually, we could turn off probably a lot of these. It'd be nice if you could do this in bulk. Oh, okay. These have to stay on. Did they actually spread the heat a little bit outside of themselves? Oh! I turned off the, um... The substation. Okay. That'll save us a little bit of coal, as well. Oh! Oh, right, because I did assign the automaton somewhere else. That's true. This will need heaters. Thump. There we are. Coal optimization research. Excellent. I will also make sure the generators are more efficient as well. But I'm not as worried anymore. One of the steam hubs that get turned off. That's a steam hub. That's a steam hub. They're both on. There's... An oh, there it is. Excellent. Okay, so the coal will go down a little bit at night here, but that's okay. So... I think we're still getting one automaton being researched right now, so I'm going to build another one, because ideally I'd like one in each one of these. I mean, I know I have tons of, like, unemployed people. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Laws. So, let's take a quick look at adaptation. What's left over here? I mean, we could do ceremonial funerals to make people happier. Oh, prosthetics! Start getting people out of the care homes. Probably we want to do this and then go back to order. Because then, um... I think I have to let it finish this. People abandon the Londoners. 
Londoners. Uh, we need five of these because we have five disabled people. What a lovely morning. I'm ready to take on my day. Everyone's so happy. Things are going well. We should thank our captain for that. I mean, or maybe they just believe they're happy because of the propaganda. <laughs> oh, scouts. Explore the cave hideout. As we approach a cave, its inhabitants pull out rifles and take positions behind the wall bearing the entrance. They're in bad shape, weak from malnutrition and illness. Uh, let's just talk to them. Try to convince them. To try to reason with the Americans. Is it possible to do that? And convince them to join us. Talk to them. Seeing that you have no ill intentions, the American told us how they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from his city. We buried Tesla's ba battered body in the cave and are heading home with these poor wretches in tows. 35 workers. Okay. And you're at a frozen pond. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but they may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Nothing to do. Well, why don't you check out this wrecked vehicle? Propaganda is just telling Quill everyone's happy. That's right! I'm the one who's being propagandized here. <laughs> one person says they're hungry. I mean, admittedly, we don't have a ton of food. So, this now has prostheses listed, but there's room for more resources here, which is kind of interesting. Arguably, there might be room for one more resource over here, too. Which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Well, folks, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Yeah, it's, we've gone over three hours of single player. We are going to scooch in a little bit of StarCraft 2 with subscribers. We're going to do co-op missions, which are incredible amounts of fun. Generator efficiency upgrade is good because our coal is still dropping pretty precariously here. Um, more efficiency would also be more better, but I think... There's our better automatons. Oh, no, wait. Streamline prostheses will cost 5 steel less to make. Streamline automatons will take less steel and metal. Automaton integration. So increase their efficiency by 10%. That's pretty substantial. Well, food being a problem, we might just want to get the flying hunters upgrade. Which presumably upgrades the uh, the hangar, the, the hunter buildings and get, makes them bring back a lot of food. It's also in the industrial hothouse here. Well, that's doubles their food from 30 to 60. Needs two steam cores per, but that's pretty good. But yeah, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna wrap this up here. I mean, there's more coal upgrades too, but I think I don't know. I don't know. I guess with reduced efficiency with the automatons isn't so bad actually because um, they do work 24 hours a day, and then we don't need heaters over here either. Something like that. But yeah, we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, hopefully we'll continue this at some point, either on stream or uh, on Let's Play. We'll see. It depends on the schedule. Um, so yes, we're going to do StarCraft 2 multiplayer co-op with subscribers. I sent out a form. Uh, I'll send out another link here. We'll, we'll grab a couple of people at random. Probably do a couple of games. This is probably what we'll have time for. And uh, that's that. Otherwise, next live stream is probably Monday for Poke Monday. Uh, it will partially depend on um, exactly how things go. Doo -doo -doo. People are worried about many things in chat. Explosions aren't a problem. Uh, coal levels are pretty low, but yeah. I think we'll be okay. Maybe. Or we'll just stop here and never find out if it goes badly. Let's <laughs> do a quick save. We're going to take a two-minute break. I'm going to get things set up um, for the... Uh, for the StarCraft 2 multiplayer, check to make sure that the form got filled in and everything's working okay there, and then we'll be right back.